Hi, math friends. We're look, working with section 9.1 areas of parallelograms today. First definition that we're going to look at is polygon. A polygon is any closed shape. Let's just draw a few of them. Here's a polygon. Here's another one. If you can think of more, just go ahead and draw more. Any shape that is closed. If it's an open shape, like that, that would not be a polygon. A certain type of polygon that we'll talk about is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is two opposite sides that are parallel to each other. And it looks just like that. It's also kind of like a, a rectangle that got blown over by the wind. And also if we have a rectangle, I want us to notice that a rectangle is a parallelogram but a parallelogram is not a rectangle. We'll also look at a rhombus. A rhombus is a special type of parallelogram that has all sides as the same. All sides are congruent. This is also like a square that got blown over by the wind. We're going to find the areas of some parallelograms. And remember, if we have a rhombus, we can use the same equation here. To find the area of a parallelogram, we're going to use this equation. The area equals the base times the height. Remember, this is just like a rectangle that got blown over. If we took this piece right here, and we transported it, and we put it on the other side here, it would fit exactly to make a rectangle. So really this is a rectangle. Remember just the wind just blew it over a little bit. So we're going to take our base which is 7 centimeters times the height. Our height here is 4 centimeters. 7 times 4 is 28. Remember to put your units on. This is centimeters squared because we multiplied centimeters by centimeters. Example 2 here has another parallelogram and it has a, be really careful here, our height is 3 and our base is 6. It's just turned on its side and that happens a lot in math too. So our area here is going to be 3 times 6 which you know is 18. Should we put centimeters squared on there? What are our units here? If we're not given units, we have to write units. And since this is an area, it's units squared. I want us to keep in mind, when we're comparing parallelograms, remember to compare the areas. 